Welcome back to RPG Maker MV, the Orpica series. I don't know what we're going to do today, but uh, we're going to record anyway because woo! Also, if you're watching on today, June 21st, 2018, or some recent amount of time from then, uh, RPG Maker MV is on sale on Steam. It's only $19.99. Much different from the usual $80 or so, so... If you've been looking to jump in, now might be the time. Also, a bunch of the DLCs on sale, so head on over and check it out. Or don't. I'm not your boss. So today we'll work on stuff. Actually, hang on a second. Is there a window behind this thing? No, there's not. Okay. Making sure. Alright, so last time I deleted the video, and this time I will hopefully not delete the video. Let's see, so let's catch up YouTube on everything. We've got a new weapon called the Scarbane. The programmer will give it to you. It gives you plus five attack, which means it's slightly less powerful than the Tempered Katana from Season 1, actually, but as you can see, it will deal double damage against digital enemies. So any digital enemies will take double damage from this thing. And at some point, I want to make an item that you can, like, throw... I don't know, like a, a potion you can throw or whatever, and it infects an enemy with the digital bug virus. Oh no. So that means you could, uh, I guess, technically turn anything into a digital enemy. And so that'll be kind of fun. And then, of course, we've got the Enigma string, courtesy of Torj's uh, 1500 bits there. A little. Wanted to throw him a little something for all that. And, uh, yeah, we had some fun with the Scarbane before we just decided to change its effect, so there, <laughs> there you go. Yep. Alright, so yeah, the Enigma String be Aaron's, one of Aaron's weapons at some point. Basically gonna make her MP cost lower, and we're going to prevent debuffs to her attack and magic attack. I think my idea for Aaron's weapons is that they'll, they'll play more to her combo ability as a character, so, like, they'll try to give her extra turns or prevent debuffs, kind of like you see here. Oh yeah, so there's that. Um, then I restructured the cutscenes a little bit. Speaking of, I'm gonna open my to-do list so I can have that handy on the side. Hey Rainbow, how you doing? And yep, so you're required to pick up the Scarbane at the very least before you leave the programmer. And now, oh my goodness. Alright. <laughs> Man, the monitor capture has just... I really have to look up the W... the DWM thing. Alright, and... We've got new things. I was working on the schoolhouse here. For Tarasina. Why don't we step inside? Let's step inside ye old schoolhouse. Alright. It's Maple Mountain Academy. There's not many people in Maple Mountain Academy. Even the principal I might just replace later on because it's a stock character. Although I love the blue hair, so I don't know. Uh, we were joking around because I made a, a private bathroom for the principal with a medicine cabinet, air quotes. All right, but yes, so if you come on in here, as I promised, in Tarasina, you'll have not only the option to save at the save points, but you can look up some history and some lore as well, so and get Maple Mountain Academy. Before the Tyrex ascended the mountains, Tyrosina was known as Maple Mountain. This small farmland contained only small huts. Uh, two uses of the word small. Probably remove one of them. And this school. Despite the lack of resources, Maple Mountain insisted its next generations deserved good education. Thus, Maple Mountain Academy opened its doors and continues to be renovated to meet today's technological standard. I might want to separate those two since it does technically change tenses in the middle there. At the request of Graham Maplethorne, the Academy's founder, new administrations unanimously agreed never to change the name. So that'll be the gist of that, pretty much. So yeah, it's both a it's both a an elementary school and a secondary school all in one. So the whole kit and caboodle is in here. And as you can see, I've got some of my older tiles floating around. Okay, so I'm kind of screwed with these things either way, huh? You can't walk behind them or you can't 
or I allow you to walk on the seats. I'm not really sure how I'm gonna deal with some of the solidity here. Ooh, those are those are weird. Ooh, those are really weird. I think I know what the problem is there, though. All right, but yeah, I had some stairs off screen the other day, so <laughs> yesterday rather. Here's the snack time room, the best room, the snack time room. It's got snacks. The rest of it's pretty typical. Made an elevator and everything. You can come on up. So there's a classroom, there's a computer room over here. And then I made the, oh wait, also there's a, there's another clock you'll be able to smash here. Hello, Cloxus. I'm not Cloxus. Goodbye, Cloxus. I'm not Cloxus. Also, I'm going to point this out because I bothered to waste time on it. I did it. I made things in GIMP. I squashed down that 3x2 whiteboard into a 2x2 two two whiteboard. Wee. Alright. Good. And then I decided to make the third floor last night off screen, so everyone in chat, this is the first time for them seeing this as well. I made the library over here on the left side. And then I created three, three rooms for three clubs here in Maple Mountain Academy. So here's the Adventure Club. It'll be like a general kind of, you know, questing guild kind of thing. But for kids and, and yay and stuff like that. So they got a bunch of, they got a bunch of stuff there. Uh, here's the Art Club. It's got art in it. I don't, you know what? It's, it's, yep, it's an art club. It's got art in it. There's some lockers and stuff on the side here. And up here, man, wow, what could this place be? Let's see, there's only a couple seats. There's a small cabinet over here. Hmm. There's a window. It's very well ventilated. There's nothing but carpet. Oh, man, you know, this should, uh, this should be the Karuta Club. This should be, that's what it should be. There you go. The third floor shouldn't fit into the building with where the stairs are now. Actually, yes, it does. It is squished. It is squished into the attic here. It is a smaller space than the floor below it. It actually does fit. All right. But yeah, that's the school. I've got nothing else to show in regards to that. That's it. That's the school. I did it. We did a freaking school. So there will be some side quests in there and everything. Why don't we fix up the tiles? So I've modified several of these tiles to fit my whims. Yeah, okay, it's just all these things being stars. Yeah. That's no trouble. I still kind of want to get rid of these dank tables, but... Yeah, let's see. Okay, that one's blocked off for some reason. So i got to figure out some consistency here with these tables. These 2x2 two two tables are the worst ones because... Like I said, I either have to prevent you from walking on the chairs, which I think I should just do. So that way you can actually walk on the tiles below them. Yeah, I don't know, we'll see. And then we'll find something to work on here today. Yup. <laughs> You gotta keep them well ventilated, and it's gotta be buried in the back so that they don't make noise. How else will they play Karuta and throw cards at the wall, if not for Dark Magician? So, I still kind of want to raise the building here so that the third floor looks more sensible, but when I extended this upward last night, it really didn't look so good. These tiles just don't really play along with the vision that I have in mind here. So, I don't know. I could try it again, but it looks really... I don't know. It looks kind of danky. I think I'm just gonna leave it alone. Like, here's two, here's two. It's just like it's gotta be a low ceiling for it to work. That's really all. Yeah, it's a freaking RPG, so whatever. So, yeah. So, this one's got some history as well. I haven't, like, placed it yet, but all the... Th Man, why is it so laggy? <laughs> God dang, this monitor capture sometimes. Wait, was it because I had an unread message on Skype? Is that literally what it was? Oh my goodness. All right, Skype. God dang it, man. Come on. Come on now, Skype. 
All right, let's go change the uh, thing that I talked about before. No, it's still laggy as crap. I have no idea what the flint's wrong with this thing. All right. Just say huts. Isn't there something else? Oh yeah, the tense thing. technological standards. I wouldn't mind changing to Discord, but Jump sounds terrible on Discord. I still have no idea why, so he wouldn't... it wouldn't work for PDW. And he's like the only one that has that problem. It's really freaking weird. Evan sounds fine on, Dis on Discord. Epi sounds fine on Discord. It's just Jubs that gets eaten alive for some reason. It's really, it's really aggravating, actually. The snack time room, the best room in all of snack, snackdom. I don't know. I got no. Here's the vice principal's office. So yeah, I don't know. I wanted to make a fun little school thing. We can put plenty of side quests in here. Blaine can maybe Blaine can like do part-time lessons or something to earn some extra money. Since Tarasina doesn't really seem to know who he is. And the checks for substitute teachers are not that strict. I mean, they generally just make sure you're not... I don't know, I'm, they, they do like criminal background checks and things, but... We're in an RPG world here, so I, f I think we can get away with some stuff here. Does the snack room have pretzels? Well, let's see. Let's take a look in here. Yes, it's in this can. It's a can of pretzels. There it is. All right, here's some caves on the side. These are the cave houses that I alluded to at the beginning. So there's those. All right, I also restructured, let's see, the cutscenes. I need to find non-enemy human, or non-human enemy sprites, rather. I'm really lacking in those. Because I came in here to make some digital enemies and I realized I don't have a whole lot of uh, sprites that come with battlers so that's very unfortunate and when I tried to make a cyborg in the generator here it's just I don't know I didn't dig it it didn't look good at all I didn't like it I think I have it still actually I think I called a crap cyborg yeah here yeah I don't I just I don't know I can't get it to look in a way that I actually like it so so I probably just need to find more enemy sprites and battlers and things. But yes. Alright, so why don't we begin? Like 20 minutes into the video. Oh, it's had not been that long. Okay, that's cool. For once. Oh, let's do Cyber City. And then we can get your pumpkins. I'll get the pumpkins. Don't worry. Any new pumpkins for everybody. It's a new song that they love on one of the new steampunk soundtracks. Pumpkins are here. I'm getting steam messages. Let me just move the window over. Be a happy rainbow. All right, let's see. Oh yeah, I was thinking of making another guardian item, but I don't know what to do with it. I guess I should use the current guardian items I have first. All right, what do I want to work on today? Oh, that's why I made this unwalkable. 
Well, no, it should still be unwalkable because I changed this tile. Yeah, it's fine. I need ideas for this, this like, chapel temple thing. I don't have too many specific tile sets for holy places. So, I mean, it might just look similar to the inside. Let's go see what I did for the olden fair chapel or whatever. I have a sneaky suspicion it's one of the few things still using the RTP, but maybe I changed it. Yeah, I did change it actually. Okay, so what, uh... Inside with ancient walls. Okay, hmm, alright. Well, let's see what that tile set is. Alright. Oh, there's not even an E here. Oh, wow, I could do much more with this. Yeah, it looks like I just added this and then didn't even use it. <laughs> what? I guess it just changed the walls? What the flid? Alright. Sure. Oh, wow, I can get Fallout 4 for 15 smackaroos? Oh, man, I might as well just eat the money. Let's just eat the money while we're at it. I have no idea why this is here. That's really weird. All right. I mean, this has everything I need to make it good. You know what, why don't I just steal from the zealots here, because this is pretty decent. This doesn't seem bad. I could just grab some different carpet or whatever. Do like a catacombs thing too, because there's these two side buildings. And then of course on your transition I have to let you get out. And you can get out into the sanctuary with these really crappy looking fences. Only because I'm not using them properly. <laughs> nah, they look fine. I'm just I just like ragging on everything. Alright, let's see. Yeah. Yeah, I guess I might as well keep trying to build places, huh? Alright, so why don't we take the Zealot House. Hop. Yeah, let's see. Couple is right there. Oh. Alright, we're gonna have to do some chucking around. Oops. Uh, start with the wood. Missed one tile. There we go. All right, let's see how large this main area is supposed to be. Let's see. Okay, I've got about five here. And one, one, two, three, four. Okay, so probably like, okay. That's not too big, actually. All right, I can do that. I could probably even have the hallways leading, yeah. Probably in the same area. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, I guess we could say, okay. So this doesn't have to be too much longer. Okay, so that's five. That's 25, so it looks like I was counting by, all right. Let me go 33 here then. Oh, well, that's, that's not how that works. Hey, Dark Four. go. Alright. Alright, good. Centered. I don't know why it does that. It's sometimes, like, when I scroll up, it just skips to the top. I'm not sure if that's a, a lag thing or just a weird flaw that happens every so often. Don't make no sense. It's a mystery. It's 
a mystery. It's a mysterious mystery. Okay, we've got an entry. I guess for most of this area we should have some kind of fancy carpet. It is a it is like a temple chapel thing after all. Very squashed in here though. So let's see. I also need to account for let's see, so let's give it about four, I guess? No, I have to give it a five so that the it comes out of the center. Alright. So let's see. No! Everything with the messaging. Yeah, okay. Actually, hmm. Actually, barely looks like it should be shrunken in. I don't think, I won't shrink it in that much then. So that's probably my god dang, everything. All right, I have to like, hang on. Let me get offline from Steam. Since apparently everything, every messaging system ever just causes this thing to tank. I have no idea why. Monitor capture is vastly annoying. Alright. Actually, yeah, I'm closing this in the whole way here then, aren't I? Okay, let's do that. Let's give this thing a, a different wall. I feel like I've been using the same wall everywhere in the town. That, look, that one looks fine. Nice and colored. Almost matches the outside. Sounds like a Pokemon or a song from Pokemon Coliseum or XD. Oh yeah, Dark Four will. Well, now what does it sound like? Nah, I'm just kidding. Okay. Let's do more dancing. Let's do more dancing stuff. Meow, 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 meow. Okay, so now we're just gonna kick. Kick. Make it a slightly thinner hallway. No reason for the hall to be that large. Okay, so let's see. So I guess this won't be just a church. This should be something else as well. Oh, the Adventure Guild. No, wait, we just did that. Oh, the Quest Guild. No, okay. Alright. Oh, the Temple Guild. What version? MV! MV. Which for some reason does not have a selection on Twitch. No idea why. It's been like, it's been almost three years. We should probably do something about this. <laughs> Wait a minute. Hang on, is this even wooden walls? What, what do they have on the outside? Oh, I guess I did have wooden walls. Okay, sure. All right. Let's see if I should uh, use a different wooden wall. Hmm. Actually, ooh. Hey, thank you for the follow, Sien. Welcome to the Strum of Doom. Yeah, wow, that actually almost kind of matches. I don't, okay, I'll, I, I, I dig it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Panels have turned into logs. Wait, what? Oh, Persona 4. Okay. <laughs> Old Team UDF gets confused, Dark 4. Don't worry about it. Ooh, fancy tiles. Thank you, Rainbow. Thanks for the city boogie. Indeed. Don't worry, we'll get to pumpkin soon. There's 
need to determine what all I want in here. Oh, it didn't go in the cup, I didn't notice, darn. You got gibbed. Bounced right out of there. Dang, feels bad. Y'all are getting cheated. We must revolt against the cup. Gibbed like that lizard tail. Man, that lizard tail, dude. <laughs> Screw that lizard tail. I can't even believe that crap, dude. How, how does the lizard tail just not proc? This almost is too open. Maybe I can find something to do with the side areas here. Something small, I guess. And let's see, the exit for this now has to be somewhere around here. Got any statues? Oh yes, yes we do. Indeed. Alright, where are my not crappy doors? I always lose track of my doors. Hmm. Mini libraries? Yeah. Well, one of the side buildings could be that, too. I wonder how this would look. How would this look? Look, look. It looks like it'll clash. Oh, it won't. That's okay. I I can probably live with that, actually. I can probably live with that. All right. All right, let's get pumpkins. Uh, let me lower the desktop volume. I think I turned it up last night. Oh, no, I didn't. Okay. Now let me turn it back on, then. There you go. It's pumpkin time. This is, like, chat's favorite song from the second... Uh, steampunk soundtrack but yeah statues right over here actually here's some statues I don't think I've even used elsewhere let's find some cool designs for this room might have to buy this even though it's not on sale then regret it later <laughs> A fair proclamation of death. Uh, everything's not of death. It could be, though. Could be of death. Right, let's do some of that. Um, okay, let's see. Probably, hmm. Alright, hang on. Let's do this instead, then I can put some crummy tables over here or something. Kind of like the other church, but eh, I don't know, it's gonna be fine. I just need some asymmetrical clutter, so not everything comes out looking the same. So yeah, I don't know what these things are, but they can go there. Let's do some chemistry in the temple. No, it's not. No chemistry in the temple. Y'all thought you were just going to temple, but you were actually doing science and math. What a travesty that was. Who would allow this? Hmm. Okay, I can put some of this over here. Oh, crap, that's, that's a package tile. All right. There we go. I don't really know why that would be there. That, won't, that wouldn't be there. Let's find something else. That's a little goofy. There's some couches or something back here. Let's see, I think I should get rid of... Oh, no, I can't because I'm using the... All right, yeah, right, okay. Donations to the poor. Sure, actually. 
But wait, that means that someone in this town is helping people. I was gonna say, okay, there you go. <laughs> Rain salvaged it at the last minute there. Okay, well now this is pretty much just the exact same setup as the Zealots. Which I guess works because the point of the cult is to, you know... Alright, sure. Alright. Where's that post-it thing? Here it is. Fit that right there. <laughs> Praise Atua. Very good. Pumpkin dance. Everybody do the pumpkin dance. Do it. Gosh darn it now. Okay. Alright. That's fine. I don't know what these chairs would be doing here, but there's some big chairs. How about one more go of the pumpkin dance? Now we can do a different song. Since it's not my favorite, I can I can last a while on it, but small indent here. We do like, I don't know, clothes racks or something over here. Is Two Brothers not an empty rack? That would be a nice tile to have. Let's see. Oh, speaking of DLC and everything, if we do this collab project, we don't need Sokken, right? Because we could just make the tile sets ourselves and GIMP or something. I was thinking about that earlier. Doesn't seem like a thing that would be terribly necessary. I think it's Sokken. Whatever the tile set builder is. Probably not, alright. Okay, we got overkilled candles. This town has to have like a, a four digit budget for candles. Five digit budget for candles. What would be back here? I don't know, but let's do this anyway. It intrigues me. I guess this could be a really weird version of a confessional or something, I don't know. <laughs> Something is back there, though. With beer. A confessional with beer kegs now, not really. Alright. Gotta have my usual trash cans everywhere. Because why would Team UDF ever use actual trash cans? Just throw these food baskets everywhere. That's how this works, right? I don't hate this area so far, actually. Pretty decent. Hmm. Do I want the tile to come all the way down like this? I actually kind of do. I don't know, though. It also kind of worked when it was walled off. Maybe I'll leave it walled off for now. Speaking of, why don't we kick up the variety in the floor just a smidgen. Uh. Hey, Violet. Good, good, good. I had to get offline Steam because Steam was causing the monitor capture to do weird things, but I figured you would take care of it from there.
Okay, um, have I given out all the four cursed? Well, I had to. Right, because the cursed teddy bears get you into the... Okay, so the teddy bears are all somewhere in season one. I actually couldn't remember if I gave out all the four cursed teddy bears. Wait a minute, does this have a smokestack? No, it doesn't. Okay. It could, though. It could have a smokestack in one of the side buildings. There could be, like, a bathhouse or a sauna. I don't know if I have the tiles to support that, though. I guess that's an idea, though. Alright, now why don't we continue with some peaceful music. No, okay, alright, okay, alright. I already got you with that once this week. All right, yep, we had cursed teddy bears so that you can get into the tower in the forest. I keep calling it a tower, the mansion in the forest. <laughs> There's four floors, it could be a tower. Let's have a courtesy chair here for people. Oh, you know what? That stool was unwalkable, wasn't it? Cold Steel's on sale. Happy already gifted it to me. Wait a minute. Wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. Okay, wait, I went into the school. There's this thing. Okay, so maybe it's the school tile set that was doing weird things. Aha, there it is, okay. Yeah, these should be walkable. Yeah, steam is destroyed. <laughs> no problem, Rainbow. When do you guys get your bits now, by the way? Because it's, it feels like whenever I go to do it, they won't bring up any ads. Dang it, Rain. You're probably, you're not wrong, but. Oh, Rainbow just, oh, okay. <laughs> I see. I gotcha. Oh, that's right, because you can't do ads in the UK, can you? I actually forgot about that. Man, this cabinet just doesn't fit anywhere, ever. It's a nice cabinet. But it's gotta go in like the middle of a room. The way I set up my rooms, I typically don't have middles anywhere. Yeah, this turned out decent though. I actually don't hate how this turned out. Let's see. Isn't bad. These books fit on the- oh, they do! Got 20 bits over the course of an hour, Jesus. Alright, so maybe they just stopped caring about supporting that. I don't know. Doesn't make sense that they would, but... <laughs> Who knows? Maybe they're just like Nintendo and they don't feel like making money. I don't know. Although, yeah, I did have a thought about that, where I wonder if it's a global limit and not a per person limit. Because the way that it worded one of the error messages to me last night made it seem like there's a global limit. So if it's an attack of bots or whatever, that's really a shame. Wait, some festival too? Wait, wait, okay, wait, wait. This one?
This one rainbow. All right, let's see. What else do I want in here? Is this like... It is. Gosh darn it. Rainbow has all the bouncy themes memorized, jeez. <laughs> I guess I shouldn't be too surprised, but... It's pretty darn funny. Big books. Now these you should be able to walk on. You can just walk over it. Sitar Cinemote Floor. The Multi Tool. Although, don't really need Multi Floor, do we? Hmm. I could have these tiles if I want, but it doesn't look like I would use them for anything in here. Yeah, well. Let's see, yeah, these all look like they're set up properly. Okay. Alright. Oops. Okay, so not a bad chapel area. I feel like I've been doing nothing but building screens on the videos so far. I guess in that one we did some cutscene stuff. But we gotta get all the building out of the way before we can do the missions. That's just how it's got to be. Then we can do all the fun stuff. Plants. Haven't put my usual slew of plants. Oh hey, it's Inazuma! How you doing, Inazuma? Haven't seen you in a while. Welcome back. Busy Pedster. No, I'm kidding. He already corrected it. I just wanted to have some fun. Put one more thing on this table. I don't know what to put there, though. Here, have a book. Everyone wants a piece of your pixel art for some reason. Well, RPG Maker uses pixel art. That could be it. That could be the cause. This looks like it could be a typically sized thing, actually. It's a little larger down here, though. Okay, so why don't we extend... I've got it. I've got it, boyo. Or do I? I do. Left structure. Do that. Any other song requests while I'm in here? Might as well. Should just do song requests in general. Oh. Wait a minute. Oh, right. You're my own freaking. <laughs> Thanks, Dark Four. You feel included. All right, what the flood's going on here? Let's see, seven, eight, and nine. Okay, I should have paid more attention to that. Seven, eight, and nine. All right, gotcha. All right. It's time to reach for the kappa. Start reaching. Start reaching for that kappa. Oh, okay. <laughs> Thanks, Luke. 
Luke found the Kappa. He did indeed reach. I'm gonna do this bathhouse thing. Hmm. Hey, DJ. Oh, Luke found a super kappa. Luke found a splashy kappa. Let's see this thing. Boom! Look at all those flying kappas. Thank you very much. And the Shadu is here. Surprisingly not for healing, but for burying people. She's gonna bury everybody in graves. Look at this. There she goes, burying people in the graves. Oh no, the Kappa! The Kappa! Thank you though, Shadu. Jack Booya has the Kappa variety pack going on there. Uh-oh. Rainbow getting a shiny Kappa. This calls for the chicken song. No. No. Now I have too much music in this freaking thing. Here we go. <laughs> the celebration must continue with the chicken song. Chicken, 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 swindle chopper, chicken, 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 swindle chopper. Behold the famous chicken song. Here's today's Team UDF trivia question. What is the first episode the chicken song appeared in? No, I can't, I don't even know that myself, so you can probably guess and be just as good as me. Capture. Let's go. All right. Tomorrow on NSD, or actually, I don't know if we're doing NSD tomorrow. Tomorrow in general, we gotta look up this DWM thing. It's starting to drive me nuts. <laughs> I want my good monitor capture back for RPG Maker. I want it. It is mine. Man, I got pampered when I had that thing. I had it for all of like two weeks though before we switched to OBS Studio. Then old Team UDF got gibbed. Did you last stream RPG Maker? It had to be last year. Yeah. 
Have a dime. Fantastic. I shall. We will use this dime only on Dairy Queen. Thank you, Dark Four. Oh no, the one escaped the cup! Time for evil Ral music. Oh. He's here to be evil. Who would have thought? Okay, so there can be a bathhouse or something on one of these freaking sides. I don't really know which one. What water tiles do I even have here? These have to be like the things that make it work. Because I need a steam effect somehow. I could probably... Hmm. How do I get a steam effect? I know how I would do it in ZC, which is very depressing. There. This is the bathhouse. No, okay. Dime candy bars? Yeah, I don't know that one. Eat dimes, but that's a separate thing. That's probably an issue we should work on. But yes, indeed. Alright. Got a decent start on the temple here. What else am I interested in doing right now? At some point, I'm going to have to sit down and work with this item setup. I'm going to have to do a lot of uh, crafting creations. Got the Molotov and the Molotov Rotary. Did I actually... Yeah, I guess... Yeah, right. Okay. The Molotov thing was like, Scathe is a guaranteed five turn burn. Whereas the regular burn is from three to five turns. That still seems like it's a janky use of the item. I don't know. Wish I could figure out something else to do with this thing. It debuffs your max HP to a 0% of its starting value. No, okay. Alright. Like, I don't know, what else would... Third, okay, so like, burns kind of prevent you from moving all that efficiently, right? Maybe we could have it lower agility or something. Like, it's not as fun to move around when you're being burned. That could be something, I don't know. This is the weirdest Molotov item. Usually a Molotov would just burn you to death and here we are thinking of like <laughs> really weird things to do with it. Oh, jeez. In Pokemon Burn Lowers Attack. I guess that's on the same wavelength. Hey, Arkea. Thinking about, like, how moving would kind of be a hindrance. The one thing about the agility... Is my agility numbers are very low between all the things, so... Like, it's not even going to affect... Yeah, it's not going to affect a lot of things if I lower agility by 20%. Maybe it should be attack instead. Because attack is a stat that is kind of used more. But the numbers still... Well, by this point, the numbers will start getting a little larger. Not agility, though. Agility's kind of streamlined. I'm using, like, a 1 to 10 scale on agility for most things. 
I kind of like that. It just streamlines things. Sure. Okay, let's try attack then. It shouldn't affect magic attack though. I don't think that would make sense. A fourth? I don't know. God dang it. Uh, Lower's defense? Hmm. Oh, is it a fourth in Pokemon? Dang, I didn't know that. Lowering defense isn't a terrible idea. I mean, think about when you're sunburned or something, you know, someone slaps your sunburned arm, it kind of hurts. So now imagine actually being burned and just having someone wail away on you. That actually would make sense. That actually does make sense. So now Scathe is just going to be this super dangerous thing. Might not even need the HP burn at this point. Let's see though. The Maltov needs two Blaze Vials, which I still haven't sold anywhere, and an old rag, huh? Oh, it's half? Wow, that's hardcore. <laughs> It's pretty hardcore. I'm also starting to suspect that maybe five turns is too much here for RP for uh, Arpega. The fights aren't that long. I could probably stand to lower it to three or four so that it's worth using more than one Molotov. Because, like, it, let's think about this. They're, they're going to use this on what? They're going to use this on a boss. Sometimes the Molotov Rotary might come into play for, like, multi... Multi-man melee. I do four turns. At least. Either that or I gotta start making some pretty impressive regular fights. The Koosh Ball will decide. No, okay, I won't. That wasn't even the Koosh Ball. Hmm. Oh, hey! We should make a bunch of status ailments that that prevent the player from moving. Just, you can't do anything during your turn. We, we could call the status ailment like Spire Slain or something. We should do that. Oh, okay. Because, okay. I mean, why would the player want to play the game? Well, they can just sit and watch their character die. That sounds much more entertaining. Have it replace your text with bad ones that have negative effects. Oh yeah, we should do that too. And then, after we do that, we should disable the tech menu so that you can't go in and change them. Yeah, we should totally do that. Disable healing items. No, no, here's what we'll do. We'll, we'll do... We'll, we'll give you a healing item that recovers 10 HP, but then it inflicts you with a status that deals 15 damage to you per turn. No, it deals 15 damage to you per tick. So you gotta let... You gotta do your menuing very quickly. All right, let's see. Poisoning the player with a poison that can't be cured. Yeah, what was that one? Does anyone remember that? Uh, 
that RPG Maker game I played very briefly, where the first area had some poison effect and there was no freaking antidote item. God dang it. <laughs> Might as well just do that. <laughs> what the flint? Something to use for these crystals. Hmm. Let's think of something to do with these crystals. What could we make that has to do with these crystals, everybody? Maybe this could come into play with some of the suits. The armors. Scuba. You know what? There should be like a crystal collection club or something. That you can bring the... Because I, I just thought of Stardew Valley where you can like bring in all the things to the museum or whatever. You can bring in a bunch of crystals and... Once you've got like a rainbow of crystals you can get like a, a special prize or something. I don't know. You're just helping some museum collect crystals basically. Oh, that's actually, that's what I should do with the shells. I think I've already got, yeah. Let's do that with the shells. Do the rainbow shell side quest, because I don't think I've used these things anywhere. Let's do that. Let me put that on my to-do list. Okay. So now these items finally have a freak in use. Solon's Ring. Man, I haven't used this item yet either. Where could I possibly use this item? I especially haven't used that item twice. King's Distinguished Vessel. Let's see, maybe make this permanent upgrade for the whole party. Smaller numbers and HP. Hmm. Oh, I see what I was saying. Okay. Okay, so the idea by 50? Oh, because I hadn't changed. Okay, I see. I got it. Master Salty. Can you be a rainbow seashell? Very well. I will allow it just this one time. I think we've had this music on for a while. Let's listen to the Tower of Cyphers or something while we were listening to Ral's evil music. You know, it might be some screwy fun. I wonder if I could pull it off. I'm pretty sure I could. I'd have to check how this works, though. But the idea is that you... You take a shot of some, like, really hardcore item that permanently buffs a stat, but that it, it inflicts this, like, really crippling status effect on you that only goes away if you're able to survive a fight with it. That would rely on me being able to inflict something on you with this remove at battle end thing and have it stay on permanently until the bat. I mean, I kind of need to just check to see if this even works. Fake hedgehog status, that's what we'll call it. We'll call it the fake hedgehog status. Is there a box item? God Actually, there is! At the very beginning, for Numeron Neon, you have to get that box. Here, a box. It's a box. Why did you pick it up? And I still haven't done anything with it. It was supposed to be, like, some really weird crafting item. And I never did anything with it in Season 1. Okay, so let's inflict you with Fake Hedgehog.
Yeah, the box of wine. Oh, I can't require it for anything because it's a side item. Let's see, change state. All right. Uh. Oh. Okay, Blaine. We're gonna add fake hedgehog. The fake hedgehog status. Okay, I need to make a fight that you can win very easily. Where's a really crappy fight? Do I have any, like, just total BS fights? I don't think I do. Here, join me, computer glib. You now are weak. You also don't do anything so that I can't get swindled. Alright. Oh, I need to make a troop out of it, too. God dang it, I always forget that. That's really annoying. Alright. Glub Glub, that's his name. His name is now Glub Glub. What enemy was that? 75, okay. Glub Glub. Behold. Okay. All right, let's see. Let's see how this goes. Okay, so. Okay, we are now inflicted with. With fake hedgehog disease. I just need to run around as much as possible to see if it just doesn't wear off. It shouldn't wear off. Like, ever. I don't think these statuses can kill you either. I mean, I probably wouldn't have it affect your HP anyway, but I don't think they're allowed to kill you. We're about to find out, though, because I have, like, no HP left. Okay, so... Okay, but we still have the effect. We still have the status, even though we can't take any more damage. So it looks like it won't go away for any reason. Okay. Get him! Okay, Blaine was victorious. No longer have the status. All right, we can actually do this. We can make a stat. We can make a buff item that permanently raises a stat, but then just inflicts you with this horrible, terrible thing until you win a fight. I have to make sure you only encounter this when you have multiple party members, because I'm going to like murder the character that uses it. Hey, Jobs. You're a butt. Take that. Yeah. You got wrecked. Okay. Give it this cool icon. Call it fake Jobs disease. Okay. So, man, this is going to be fun. Okay. Actually, I guess it should be some kind of potion or something. It shouldn't have the same icon. Um, I just need to reference the icon in the text, which I think I can do. see what's our fanciest container probably these things here although we could do some of these up here I have more containers down here I forget I don't think so I've just got like bag oh actually here I've got these things okay I guess I'll temporarily I need to remember what the text code is. I think it's like NI or something. Is it NI? Mm, oh, IN. Okay. 
trustworthy and I can. Okay. Whew. Jittering Jubs disease. God dang it. Okay, now what icon was that? 4163. So I really want to, I do think this is going to be a fun idea. I, again, just have to make sure that you don't run into it with only one party member so that you can win a fight with it. And we got to put warning labels all over the freaking item. Because someone's inevitably going to screw this up. And. Inflicts that and. Just need to be able to see the item basically. Seventy-eight. All right. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Give All right. Cool. All right. Works just like the text. Oh no, it doesn't work. Doesn't do anything. Doesn't do anything. Guilty spark disease. It deals 343 damage to you per tick. You have to win a fight. Uh, yeah, so we can do this. We can do it. We can do it. Gives you one TP. There it is. I say, I scored that. I scored. I scored. Got some good and cinder chopper. So the idea here will be better go to a library somewhere. Maybe this is what you can go to the school library for, to read about these really odd inflictions or something. One of the many reasons you could go to the school. But that would be a nice use for the library. We just gotta like organize the books, because there's a billion books. Actually, you know what would be really trolly? That should be w one of the missions. Should involve one of the one of the party members getting tricked into drinking one of these items, so they get like their status buff from it or whatever. But then you have to. The mission is like you have to figure out how to cure the disease that it comes with or whatever. Like some shady guy has been, it's just one of the DC members in disguise or something is basically like, here, drink this, it'll, you know, it's some good stuff, mate. Or they just slip it into the drink or whatever, I don't know. I've got, there's bars in this freaking town. Wait a minute. Yep, I think I've got it. I think I have figured it out. Old Gabrius here is going to mistakenly inflict you with some darkness. Don't do rugs. DJ Gamer 2018. Don't do rugs. Screw those rugs. You hear that, you pieces of crap? You can't fool us anymore. We're not gonna stand for this. We're not gonna sit on it either. The floor is lava punk. No more rugs. Alright, that's enough of that. Okay. 
So that sounds like a fun idea. And then we'll think of something cool for the status. Status. It just knocks you out. No, oh, okay. God, that would suck. <laughs> just dragging lifeless corpse around until they have a fight, and then they just miraculously wake up after the fight. Oh, man. This is the weirdest rendition of freaking Snow White I've ever seen. Counter attack. All right, let's see. Oh man, I see all the skill types and everything. Just prevent them from using skills. And it's like, it's like freaking Neo or someone who drinks it, and she's just like, "What do I do now?" Uh, all right, have fun with uh, Daggerfall Dark Four. I'll probably host you when I'm done with this, and I go off to that thing they call school. Too cool for school, but then I get my wings after I'm done teaching, so that'll be good. Tendies greater than wings. Well, now you listen here. There's gonna be some punishment now. Okay. What was this here? Anger Arum? Hmm. I don't know why this is here. Alright, whatever. I would... Ugh, I should put this stuff down here. With the Season 2 items, actually. Even though the, the states are... Okay, here, let's see. Why don't I... I'll give myself, like, a bit of room for these things. Uh, we'll call them like buffs, but inflicted. I don't know. I mean, <laughs> I'm freaking now. All right. Get these things organized a little bit more here. It's gonna be harder for me to align the states anyway, and I get to just see it here. So. I gave myself that much room for for attachments, huh? I'm not even using attachments, am I? Didn't I get rid of those? I probably did. Here, why don't I do buy a hundred again? Like I did with the one thing. So this is 140, so this could be like 240 or something. I don't know. Seems weird that I did this. Alright. Because it looks like I had something planned for this segment. Nova's also sitting there as a blockade, and then there starts the skill tax or whatever the flid, so. Alright. Phew. Cool shoes. How trolly should I be here? I should only let you use this at the menu. So that you can't just like whittle your way down to a fight that you know you're gonna win and then just take a sip deal that last blow and wow I'm cured I did it all right yeah you know, something I'm curious about I wonder how many people who use RPG maker actually take advantage of this percentage where you can, like, you know, change it from 100%. Like, it's got higher success rates and effectiveness and everything. I wonder who uses this. Because it seems like a feature that I always overlook. I just make another state. 
Maybe someone who's like even more efficient with spacing. I don't know. Alright. Okay, so that's a fun item idea. We'll have to make that. Let's see. I still have to give you a side quest that you lets you buy the tech stats from Streber. I think I'm just gonna have you go back to the beach or something for that. So that you can find out that occasionally these fish just pop up with another tablet. Might also spruce up the graphics in this area. I think it's one of the few areas I haven't spruced the graphics up in. Am I even using this tile set? Nerd Nick just subscribed with Twitch Prime. Ooh, thank you very much. And indeed, welcome to the Strum of Doom. Oh man, look at that splash. Oh, thanks for the Twitch Prime sub. What pile set does this use? Just the. Oh man. Yeah, this is like one of the more ancient areas. Oh, you know what? I think I remember why I left it like this, though. It's, it's so it wouldn't look the same as Vike. Oh, wait, but it does. Well, now I'm just confused. Now I don't know what I was after. <laughs> yeah, those are the same trees. I don't know. Alright, never mind then. It's gonna be really crazy going back to these older areas, and they're just like... There's a much higher percentage of RTPs still sticking around. And then I come to Season 2 and it's like I can barely tell. That's just really funny. Not many snow tile sets though. I guess if I could find one, I'd be more interested in replacing it. Actually, what is the... Um, where is that thing? I don't actually know where it is. It's been a while since I've... I think it's, I think it's right here. Pretty sure it's in here. Let me just check really quick. First time you catch the stream? Ooh. No, this also uses the same style of tree. Hmm. Yeah, I don't have varied uh, snow tile sets. Should probably look those up too. Things I need to find. Varied snow tile sets. Wait. Isn't the one on sale on Steam? I think it's one of those. Uh, I think it's a different graphical style though. might clash with what I have. Close up all these things. Yes! Enjoy the four hearts of damage crow for the the emote. So where do you come from, Nerd Nick? Something on YouTube? Is it randomizer? Everyone seems to find this stream from randomizer. <laughs> It's a good thing I do randomizers still, right guys? Right? Every Sunday. Every Sunday, right? That's how this goes? God, I feel bad. I haven't done it in so long. What should this store sell? This should be like a weird potion shop or something. Like, just very non-typical potions that make you think, do I really want to? Oh man, you're watching all the Trails videos. Oh wow. That is different. Alright. I didn't know anyone actually watched that series. <laughs> Had to help your mom out with her laptop? Oh, that's good. Yeah, I think that's the first person to join the stream from the, uh, the Trails videos. That's just, yeah, that's really cool, then. We did it, everybody. Trails did something. <laughs> How long have I been listening to this song? It sounds like it's been a while. 
Uh, no, how about something here? Speaking of mission six, it's a good thing I finished Trails the Third. Yep. There's no way that I just rage quit it. <laughs> Definitely one of my favorites. I still need to watch the end of Epi's playthrough so that I can play Cold Steel, because I don't want to play Cold Steel without seeing the whole story of the third. Do I even need this anymore? I don't think I need this anymore, because I got rid of the status. Get out, Rainbow! No, I don't! <laughs> I'll just like turn on Epi's VOD and then mute it and I'll play like the music and then I'll just start voicing over the lines and that'll be my playthrough. It'll be like, all right, wow, I didn't know I was gonna choose that move. Let's see. What the flood was I doing? I came in here for some reason. I don't remember why now. Oh, I was gonna think about these random potion things. Oh, maybe I should sell the vials in here. The one house doesn't do that, right? Oh, it does. Oh, wait. Wait, it sells a frozen vial. Okay, so nowhere sells a blaze vial. Okay, so this place should sell a blaze vial. Welcome. Yes. <laughs> Welcome to my shop, let's fight. I should have someone do that. Like, to shop at his store, you have to best him in combat. And he has, like, really... God dang it, why do I keep coming up with this? I'm gonna write this on my to-do list. A shop where you have to fight the vendor each time you want to shop. And he has rare items. Alright. Yep. I have gone, I've just completely lost my mind at this point, everybody. Alright. Blaze Vile. Now, as I recall, Yeah, okay. Fire and Ice Blast. The item that really suggests I should be using a more straight elemental system. Or at least I should have this thing inflict some statuses or something, I don't know. What's a decent ice status, though, besides freeze? Because I also don't want to lock the enemy out of combat. Then it makes it too easy. Also, what's 140? Oh, this, no, that's not the recipe. What is it? A bubble container. Okay. Am I even selling these things anywhere? Let's sell them here, just in case. I feel like I'm not selling these anywhere. Maybe Wright had one at the end of season one, but mm, I don't know. Okay, so now you have enough to make the fire and ice blast. However, oh, there it is. It, there, I was going to say, I don't see the recipe for it, but it is indeed the recipe. Okay. I've been doing 15 for all my recipes, except for the special ones. Looks like it. Uh, oh, okay. I got gotcha. you. 
Pierce Blind and Buffs Magic Attack for five turns. Well, that is, uh, that's just, that's a thing. <laughs> I guess I figured it wouldn't matter. I don't know. Whatever. These items are weird because they're not going to show up until, like, much later. And the Truth Center is supposed to be broken as heck. But now I don't know if it actually will be. Looks like I couldn't settle on the percentage that I wanted. Looks like I was bouncing back and forth between 50% and... Alright. Yeah, because this is going to be something that you can construct only in the dream world. And for some reason it's an accessory. Because... Oh. Have fun. Oh man, I just remembered the lazy shell from Super Mario RPG. Have something that just like murders your attack, but it overkills your defense. I never really heard too many complaints that that game was too easy either. I guess it's because when we were kids we didn't know how to find all of it. So you probably found most of it on your second or third playthrough. So that made the first playthrough the hard playthrough. I guess that makes sense. Oh, we didn't do anything with the Chaos Pendant yet. Yeah, we had to make you weak to all elements. But then give you something cool. Still don't know what to give you for that either. The Chaos Pendant. Let's put this in Season 2. Chaos Pendant. Plus two moves per turn. Throw that sucker on Aaron. Start building up that... Uh, temporal Deus Pulse. And just wipe the floor with everything. certain hit, so it's not a physical. Because I'm considering... I'm considering an idea where you somehow get the Temporal Deus Pulse to just target multiple enemies. Like, she quick shots two arrows. You know what else? Aaron should technically use ammo, shouldn't she? Because of the bow. I mean, if Kolarovich is using ammo for his gun, it doesn't make sense for Aaron to use a bow and have infinite ammo. Hmm. Alright. So I could make different types of... hmm... Yeah, actually, because... Jeez. Yeah, a magic bow that generates arrows. That might be the better way to go here. Because I feel like you're pouring enough money into Kolarovich's ammo. And he has to, like, combine items together. Like, most of his stuff costs two items. So having two... cost characters is probably not the greatest idea. 
This also maintains what I was hoping for between the characters, which is that they all have something that's unique. The line, incidentally, between Blaine and Carnelia is a little blurred after I added this Dark Embrace, but Carnelia definitely has the better healing text. Like, once you have Carnelia, you don't really need to heal with Dark Embrace when you can heal the whole party for 10 at one in one go. Oh man, you know what's gonna be fun? The enemies can start using Quick Stab 10. Oh boy, that's gonna be fun. That's gonna be fun. This is gonna do some damage. Some big fat damage. But sure, energy bows are fine. We can do that. And yeah, I, the ammo tracking being a pain, probably a better thing that I back out of this. Let's see, Aaron's bow. Okay, so I won't worry about it then. Use this. Oh, right, the cool pictures. It sucks that I have one sword character, and I and I love so many of the sword pictures. Like, dang it. <laughs> Gotta figure out how to upgrade the frying pan, yeah. I mean, we can just do it with synthesis, with synthesis. That's a unique way to do it, but we'll see how much I want to put into that. Alright, let's see. So this will be Aaron's, like, third or second bow. I haven't decided yet. Alright, cool, cool. Okay, how do you get the recipe for the Fire and Ice Blast? Let's see. Maybe I could just sell it here. Well, I gotta think, I gotta figure out what the heck this item does, though. I don't know what the Fire and Ice Blast even will do. Actually, what would be really cool is if the fire part did damage and the ice part was like a heal or something, but I don't know how to get things to target, like, I don't know how to target two different things on two different fields with two different effects. I don't even think I can do that with the target core. Yeah, probably not with one item. I'd have to, like, somehow split it into two different things. And the last time I tried that, we ended up with the Scarbane, so let's not do that. <laughs> let's just let that, enter that, that idea die in the fire. Alright. Cool, so I got some ideas down for the next video, at least. Probably work on some things over the weekend as well, so we might even come back to something different. But I'll end the recorded part here, so we'll... Bid farewell to YouTube for now, at the very least, and we'll continue on in the stream for a while, so... If you're on YouTube, thanks for watching, boy!